Okay. Yeah, and someone who pointed out that you actually turned up at the MTV Movie Awards with Ron Anderson. Yeah. Who's sort of, you know, a guru who's worked with apparently everybody. Yeah. Um, how did you hear about him and how did you wind up getting together with him? That's an interesting story. I was, um, I just got my deal and I was in LA hoping to, you know, get stuck into songwriting and see if I was any good at it or not. Um, and I kept waking up and losing my voice. And I was like, what is going on here? Um, I had gotten really lazy with, um, with warming up my voice and technique and over the years, because once I got into acting, I dropped all my singing lessons. So in desperation, I was talking to my friend, Rick Palumbi, who I'd been writing with. And I was like, I don't know what to do. And he said, well, there's this guy that I used to go to. And he told me about Ron. So I put the call in. Meanwhile, I go to the doctor and find out I have nodules on my vocal cords. So it was this whole drama where they told me that I was going to have to have an operation. And I was really stressed out. And um, he calmed me down and he said, come see me. And I saw him every day for a month and he got rid of them. So when you've been through something like that, I guess, I, I swear by Ron Anderson. <laughs> He's pretty incredible. Now, what, what were you able to learn from him that you still carry with you? Are there any tips, any sort of... You know, I, have to warm, I have to warm my voice up. I've done it and I've not done it. And unfortunately, some people are more susceptible to, you know, nodules or problems with their voice than others. I, I have to put in the work. So my band goes out to play and I go to bed and I get up early and I warm my voice up. So it's good discipline, but his technique works. You know, I think if you find something that works for you, stick to it. Um, do you feel stronger now vocally? Uh, what, what was your impression of your voice? before meeting with him, and then what's your impression now? Well, I didn't have much of a voice. It was very, very hoarse and hardly there at all. Um, yeah, it was like discovering a whole new voice. I went back to London and hooked up with Phil Fornalli again to do some writing, and he was, like, blown away by the difference. So, yeah, I mean, I, I personally noticed the results.